The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the September 30th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question and you can't call in, Stevie's got your back. You can always send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject, thing, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix is really coming from the uh, Russell. That's up nine points. The trend is up 175. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. Dow's off 80 points. S&P's down three. NASDAQ, 129. Some are off 52. New York Stock Exchange down 22. Gold is off 14 bucks. Trading at 26.53. Silver's off 45 cents at 31.36. Light three crude. It's up 64 pennies at 68.81. Natural gas is up uh, two cents, printed out 293. And the 30 year treasury is off 12 ticks, printed out at 124.16. Our leader in the clubhouse, dollar wise, the upside is food to holdings. That's a $13 move or 15% move. ICU medical, about 12 bucks or 7%. Regenerin Pharmaceuticals, 11 bucks, 1%. Costco is up 8 bucks, 1%. Intuitive Surgical, about $8, about 1% there as well. To the downside, we're led by Mercado Libre. Of 28 bucks, one and three tenths. Alta Beauty is down 11 bucks, nearly 3%. Coinbase, 11 bucks, 6%. Aber, Aber, Aber. Crombie and Fitch. I'll get it. $10, a 6% move. And West Pharmaceuticals is off $10 as well, over 6% to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day taking at New York Stock Exchange. That advanced decline oscillator. What's it doing? Well, still remains above zero. Tells us that the buyers are the ones that are in control of the general market. What's that spot VIX index doing? Well, right now it is hovering right at that 50 day. It's printed out at 1694 and 1705 is a 50 day exponential moving average. So so we'll want to watch that if price closed above 1705 today and closes above the 50 day exponents moving to average. Well, price might get into start moving to the downside. Now, with regard to the downside, there is a new profile that I would mentioned that is attempting to form. That new profile has got resistance at 5802 and support at the 5746 level. So 5746 at this moment in time is the key area to watch for the ES mini. Uh, is there anything else on this set of charts that we need to take a look at? You know, we've gold moving to the downside out here. Let's just take a look at where that perigee pivot point is in gold, way down at the 2604 level. Uh, that is a fair game out here. If we take a look at silver, where's its perigee pivot point? That is down at the price point of about 31 bucks, even Steven. Yeah, so we're really not that far away from uh, from that uh, pivot point. So that'll be an area to watch out here. Particularly the U.S. dollar index, it's rallied right up into its perigee pivot point at 100.395. So it's found that to be resistance. I would say if uh, the U.S. dollar index closes above that, likely we see the metals continue to move lower out there. So nothing else that I see on this set of charts out here. So let's go do this. Let's start making the rounds. Let's make the rounds 
from an intraday standpoint. So if you give me a moment, in fact, I've got gold up on the screen right now. So when we, that's not where I intended to uh, uh, start, but let's just start there. It's going to take, uh, you know, it takes away 20 seconds or so to rehabilitate uh, a, a new symbol in here for these. Uh, there's only eight charts you see on my screen. There's four others that you don't see. So I take a Goldilocks in a daily time frame. TD9 count, Rhodesman to indicator top. Price right now trading below that green oscillator and change line and the center of that bearish structured profile. I would say a close today below the center, below that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at about the 2664 uh, level. I uh, would uh, increase the odds of a move to 25.99. Now, you've got a bar number eight on a five hour time frame chart where price tra uh, trading into its buy zone. The buy zone on a five hour time frame is 26.52 to 26.57 out there. Uh, the low so far has been down at 26.50.20, so we know that area is being tested. There's the potential for a TD9 count bottom pattern to form by day's end out here. This bar will not complete until uh, 2 p.m. A breakout support for gold for this time frame is down at 26.39. The four-hour time frame chart, Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top, breakout support at 26.47. The 120-minute time frame chart, trading below support with no bottoming signal. The 60-minute time frame chart could form a TD9 count bottom uh, as we get off the air at 12 noon. In order to do that, it just simply needs to close below, and this seems like a logical outcome, it needs to close below 26.63. So now that pattern, that T9 count bottom pattern, will not complete until 1 p.m. On a 30-minute time frame chart, it's got a TD9 count bottom pattern that was negated, trying to form a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. In order to do that, it needs a bullish reversal candle. Right now, we can see on that 30-minute time frame chart that oscillator and change line is acting as resistance. Right now, that's really at the bottom of its 30-minute uh, profile, at about the 2658 level. So that's what's going on when we take a look at Goldilocks. From a consecutive days, upside, downside out here, this is going to be bar number two to the downside. If we take a look at the uh, rally in gold out here most of the moves lower have been two bars two or three bars we had one four bar move lower that was back in may um, otherwise uh, we had another four bar move back in uh, the july time frame otherwise it's pretty much two bars so it's it's very possible that the uh that gold will form a uh, bottom today just simply with regard to that two bar move it's still in a bullish mode out there it just does have that daily topping pattern so that's all that I've got for Goldilocks. I hope that helps you out, whoever you are, everybody. Now let's go take a look at the ES Mini. Let's uh, go focus in on the uh, equity future contracts. Let me give you a feel for their communicating to you and I. I only have one request in the queue, or uh, two requests now. One is going to be for FXI, the other is for TLTW. Right now we're trying to just simply, uh, you know, pause in time so I get these charts here to populate. No idea why it's taking so long. I've got the daily. So on the daily time frame chart, we talked about that new profile that is attempting to form. So far, the retracement here inside the ES Mini has found support at that oscillator and change line. So that 5774 area is a real key area to watch for you. With regard to the five-hour time frame chart, price right now is sitting at support. That support level, uh, that's the bottom of its profile. That's down at the 5774 area out here. What else do we have for the ES Mini? Not too much. Not too much, says Stevie. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking the ESMA before I went to that uh, breakout there. And uh, about the only thing I can really identify out here is the 5795 level. The 5795 is a TD9 count breakout area from a 15-minute time frame chart. It's been attacked uh, once before. Uh, it was attacked out here on the uh, trading session at about 4 a.m. That was at uh, this morning. Now we're going to be back up that level with a TD9 count top that formed out here at 11 a.m. as we're coming on the air. The high of that pattern is 57.9250. A close above that would negate that signal. So what price should do here is pull back towards its oscillator and change line. Let's say between the 57.82 to 57.84 level. If price does close above the TD9 count pattern, that requires a close above 57.9250. It's got that resist at 57.95. So. This is real easy, and that is that if we see two consecutive closes, two 15-minute closes, about 57.95, we had higher. Now, its next resistance point is a TD9 count top from up here at uh, 10.30 last night, and that's at uh, 58.02.75. That would be your next resistance point, and if price were to clear that, you get all the way back up to about the 10.30 time frame back from the uh, September 27th. So that's what I see when we take a look at the ES Mini. Let's uh, see what the NQ has to say about all this. So let's get its charts up on the screen. Oh, geez, Louise. Now, Stevie did not mean to do that. Sorry for that black screen. Let's uh, see here. It says I must have locked something up. Fat fingers. There we go. Okay. So now let's try that one more time out here. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. I think we... Oh, my goodness gracious. What did Stevie do? I did something. In any event, so we're going to get those charts here for the NQ fired up. The daily is up on our screen. And the daily does not have any kind of a top out here. It's got an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. Doesn't mean that it won't pull back. 
and right now it's got a new profile. So the target to the downside is between 19907 and 20029. The uh, former was the uh, bottom of the profile, the latter was its oscillator and change line. On a five hour time frame chart, we can see prices trading back into profile support at 2111. I don't know if there's some kind of uh, signal here at all, any kind of bottom signal, only bar number six that we're in right now. Whoops, I kind of scrunched things a bit more, uh, much. Um, Price is testing support on the four hour time frame, 2147. You've got breakout support on the two hour time frame at 2108. No bottom signal, other than the 15 minute chart's got a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. But unlike the uh, ES Mini, which was very clear with regard to where resistance was happening, I don't have that on my screen out here. So maybe we're just simply going to be paying attention to the ES Mini for its uh, signals out there. So that's what I've got. We take a look at the ES and the NQ out there. Let's go take a look at some of the requests that have come in. The first one coming in from AG. And AG wants an entry point for T TLTW. And TLTW is a ETF for long-term bonds, 20-plus year treasury bond. And so uh, he's looking for an entry point uh, for the different periods out here. So uh, first, this hasn't been trading long enough on a monthly chart to really, you know, to, to, to give us a lot of data. So the only data that I do have, it does have a TD9 count bottom. It has led to a consolidation with inside its profile. The top of that profile is currently priced at 26.99. We're printed, printed at 27.06. If, to, if at the end of the day, Price closes back inside that profile, again, below 26.99. That'll tell us we just had, at this stage here have a consolidation. Your buy point on a monthly time frame then would be between 25.87 and 26.24. On a weekly time frame, we have a TD9 count top that is present. That TD9 count top should take price back to its oscillator and change line. That happens to be below the bottom of its weekly profile, which is at 26.56. The oscillator and change line, 26.34. So buy, potential buy area out there would be 26.56. If that level fails, price should go back to the asset and change line. It's red. If price were to close below that, that would say that your entry area from an intermediate standpoint would be 25.51. So at the moment, the levels are 26.56, 26.34, and 25.51 out there. We'd really need to see what's going on probably with the daily time frame to assist us with that weekly. Well, what is going on with the daily time frame? I'm glad you asked. Right now, price is just trading with inside its profile. And there's a bearish structured profile, slightly so the bearish sell zone would be between 2711 which it hit earlier this morning it got about to 2715 but between 2711 and 2727 so if this is a bearish structured profile which Stevie says it is and we're trading below the center of that level at this moment in time I would say AG that price the buy entry would be at around 2689 either 2689 or or 2668 out there. So that would be the daily time frame versus the weekly versus the monthly out there. So hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for. Um, I don't know what else it is that I could provide uh, to you out here. So I do hope that helps you out. The only thing I could do is take a look what's going on with the uh, 30 year. I don't think I got that up on my screen out here. What I could do, what I should do, yeah, I didn't. But let's go to those intraday charts out here. Let me, uh, those are going to be the wrong ones. Those are the wrong ones. Let me take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart. We'll do it this way. Stevie always has a way. So here on a 30 minute time frame, from a nice wave number seven, Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom, then it was a TD9 count top. So here's what I can give you on an intraday basis. Prices found support at 2702. If price closed below 2702 on a 30-minute time frame, you're likely to see a move back to 2687. As long as the support level holds, it could signal that price is going to go target that TD9 count top. That is at the price point of 2715. If price were to close above 2715, then we're going to go head up towards that 2729 level. Uh, that would be, and you'd also have an A to B equals CD pattern, but 27. 
29 would be the next resistance point out there. So which way is this going to go? I don't know the answer. Support is holding right now. Um, you know, this 30-minute bar closes in about four minutes or so. Uh, but I've given you the parameters at least to look at intraday, daily, weekly, and monthly out there. So let's go. Uh, so I hope that helps you out, AG. If there's something else you needed, please let me know. Joe D. inside the Tiger Zone wants to take a look at FXI. So let's go take a look at FXI first. And then let's go take a look at the uh, yen. We can take a look at multi time frame. So with regard to FXI, which, by the way, is uh, trading the uh, currency pair. So it's an ETF for the currency pair. Right here, we can see a TD9 count top with regard to FXI that went ahead and formed on September 13th. That went ahead and took price right back to its breakout level, 63.80. We are trading, bull we are trading with inside a new profile. Let me get the top, 64.75. So we are trading with inside that new profile out there, and support is between 63.90, 64.11. On a weekly time frame, you have a confirmed completed TD9 count top. That should take price back towards 62.75. That would be the bottom of its weekly profile. The monthly time frame looks very bullish uh, at this stage here. It suggests it wants to get to 67.98. Uh, what you've got to contend with here first, Joe, is going to be this weekly and this daily set of TD9 count tops out there. We come back to this break. We're going to go take a look at the uh, yen itself for Joe D inside the Tiger's Den. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Prize. For his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the uh, Japanese yen. We've got the monthly, the weekly, the daily, and then a few intraday time frames out here. On a monthly time frame, this is the month of uh, July 2024, this confirmed a rogemental indicator top, and this is suggesting lower price. However, the weekly time frame chart, which had a rogemental indicator top, formed a TD9 count bottom, completed that pattern the week of September 20th. Now, at this stage here, a uh, price should rally. It should rally towards its oscillator and change line, currently printed at 146.87. The daily time frame, which has a TD9 count bottom, uh, found resistance at its breakdown level, 145.55. No topping signal, just simply it can be a top to get back to your breakdown resistance level. It's done that. And now this morning, price has gotten back to support at 141.73. So this is impacting any decisions you might have with regard to FXI. And it's not clear to me which way the uh, daily time frame is going to go. Now, if price were to, at this stage here, it hasn't broken itself to the downside, so it may want to go explore that 145.55 level. Is there any signals we're getting from those intraday charts out there? So we have a TD9 count bottom on a 30-minute time frame chart. That, at this stage here, has led to an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That is not completed. We are in bar number eight as we speak. So this would suggest that at 12 noon, you have a potential for a TD9 count top that would form between 12 noon and 1 p.m., with 1.30 being the, uh, that'd be, bar, let's say that'd be eight. Yeah. So the uh, eight is, uh, so that'd be by, by uh, 1 p.m., you should have a 30-minute, you could have a 30-minute TD9 count top. That ought to take price a lower. Maybe it's just back to test support at the 142.87 level. Um, what else do I really see that's assisting us? You know, not, not really a ton more than that out there. So uh, that's what I'd be watching for, Joe D. Does price break out above 145.55 or does price break down? And we start moving below that daily TD9 count bottom. And that level out there is at the one. 39.58 area. I wish I knew, but right now the signal is that price should rally into about the noon to one o'clock time frame, and then you should at least see at least a short-term retracement out there. So hope that helped you out, uh, Joe, with FXI as well as what's going on inside of the actual yen itself for its multiple time frames. Greg wants us to take a look at ticker symbol. Let me actually close this out. G triple R out there. So GUR. And let's go find out what that is doing. These are not the charts that we're going to look at. This is a Gorilla Technology Group. So if you give me a moment, I should have that up on my chart here. I believe it is right there. Is that Gorilla Technology? It is G triple R. So the very first thing, and you're looking for a, you'd like to add to your position. So the add to the position option may have taken place Friday, Thursday, and even on Wednesday. This has a TD9 count top, bar number eight formed on September 23rd. It completed that pattern on September 25th with the bar following bar number nine, but that was also a test of rejection of its green oscillator and change line and a slightly bullish structured profile, the center of that profile, 387. Now what price has done, it's run up into the top of the profile. Greg, that's at 455. Now we're trading into that swing point from September 23rd. The volume on that swing was 1.3 million shares. Today you are up with it. So far with a total of 2 million shares. So you got 2.3 million shares moving to 1.3 million shares. So price is likely to go target that high, the high of uh, bar number eight, the high of the bar from September 23rd, the high being 469. However, 455 is a formidable resistance level. We've seen even with the volume push to the upside, we've seen how that has acted as resistance. If price can close above that TD9 count top, that high again being 469. Then what that would do is that would send us a signal. That would, signal would tell us that price should go target. Well, so it's trading above its weekly profile. Its next level of resistance on a weekly time frame gets us to figure I can't even see. Where is that? Wow. Um, 
I believe that number is at, if I could get this to work for me, my apology, is at the uh, 808. Yeah, it, that number would be uh, 808. Yeah, 808 would be the uh, price target out there. So what is this uh, Gorilla Technology? This is a monthly chart, just sideways, the same thing on this weekly chart out there. Look, for a daily time frame, uh, Greg, your question specifically is where to add. I think uh, I think you could potentially take another poke at the 368 level. If price were to close below that, we'd be looking at 316 to 347. So that's what I see when I take uh, your Gorilla Technology Group. Is that the Gorilla Tape uh, guys out there? Probably not. Probably not even close. Uh, so that's all I've got. Mike wants to take a look at ticker symbol. DJT is looking for an entry into this. So we take a look at this. This had a TD9 count bottom pattern out there. So uh, I, I know you said you, you sold your position and then you're looking to enter it. Well, you actually got a completed TD9 count bottom pattern on September 24th. That was your signal to get into this trade. Now you have price trying to t take out its uh, bear structured uh, daily time frame. Uh, that bearish structure daily time frame profile runs between 1443 and 1510. If we close above 1510, which it looks like we may do here, uh, well, I don't know what we'll do at the end of the day. If we do at day's end, then what this is signaling to you, uh, Mike, is that price would want to target 2086. That's a daily time frame. What's the weekly show us? The weekly shows us that if price closes below on Friday, if price closes below 1710, you will have a weekly TD9 count bottom pattern out there. The monthly chart shows a TD9 count top. Price pulled right back to its breakout level of 1256 and found support. When you put the monthly together with the uh, daily, you understand the bottom signal here. And now we've got the uh, weekly bottom signal. It looks to me like DJT has a bottom daily weekly and monthly so mike i hope that helps you i don't know you had a twofer out here and the twofer the second one was ticker symbol c c e g so let's pull up c e g and in this case here you're looking for your long your your question is where is this going so this actually completed a td9 count top and it did it on the trading day of september 23rd and ever since then, it's basically been a sideways move, which is pretty nice out there. Um, if price can take out that TD9 count top, in order to do that, you would need to see a close above 271.85. Preferably, you'd like to see it on more than 10.2 million shares. Today, so far, we've done not even a million share. So price is coming into that swing point with much lighter volume. Where is your entry point? Where? Oh, your, no, your question is, where is it going? Hmm. So the weekly chart has a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That would take us up towards the uh, 280 level, but you're not going to get there unless you can take out that uh, daily TD9 count high. Monthly chart is prepared to move much higher. No topping pattern. It's going to close out the month above profile resistance. That's going to give you a change in trend with a close above 236.30 out there. So monthly wants higher price. Weekly wants higher price. But the daily is the one that's giving you the fits out there. So um, your only concern, I would say, would be a close below 222.47. You close below that, you're likely going to go fill that gap out there. That means get back to about the 208.64 level. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the fund involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the stock charts here for Taseco Mines. TGB is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for Dan from uh, New York. And Dan, this negated its TD9 count top uh, a couple of days ago. That was on September 26. That's a bullish signal. Suggests that it wants higher price. The issue that it has, if there is an issue right now, is two dollars and sixty-seven cents. Last week, price got up to the level of 265. So it's basically made its way to the top of its weekly profile at 267. So it didn't bust out that high. It could be pulling back to test support. And this week, for a weekly time frame, support will be 244. Daily support will be the top of a new daily profile that is forming today. Dan, when a profile forms below price, that is a bullish message out there. That doesn't mean that price won't pull back to that level. The top of that profile is 236. So you got 236 and 244 as potential price targets to the downside. Will price get down there? That's a great question. If we take a look at its stance steps out here, again, we're looking at the Seiko Mines. This will be the first two-bar pullback since it made a low, a two-bar pullback back on September the 6th. There is a possibility, since this looks to be in a bull run, since it took out its TD9 count top, that really today's low ends up being the um, the buy area out there on a daily time frame. Now, I know that's not what you asked me, but uh, I certainly do want to point that out to folks because I'm giving you retracement levels that, quite frankly, may never, it's possible, may never really come into effect out there. It doesn't mean it can't do more than two days, but in a strong bull market, two bar moves, two to four bar moves um, to the downside are your typical uh, uh, reaction moves to the in the opposite direction. If we look at a monthly time frame chart for Taseco Mines, it's it's consolidating with inside its monthly profile. So it did test both last month and this month, the bottom of that profile, 195. It's traded above its green oscillator and change line. The monthly time frame says that the Seiko Mines wants to get up to 295 out there. So again, on the daily time frame, bullish, both from a negation of its TD9 count and from a new profile that's forming below price. Weekly chart doesn't have any kind of a top. But getting back to profile resistance can be a top, and that's exactly what it's done. So I'd be watching 267. If you can clear 267, you should be off to 295. And uh, Dan from New York, I hope that gave the information you were looking for. And you are welcome. I see the thank you. Let's go on to the next request. Uh, Dan, welcome back. 
Hope you had a nice uh, vacation out there. Dan wanted to take a look at VFC is the ticker symbol. So we got that ch chart up on our screen out here, VFC. What's it doing? Well, it is trading above its green oscillator and chain line. It is trading above uh, the top of its profile. It's at 1910. This is suggesting to Stevie, I don't see a top out here on that daily time frame, that VFC wants to trade higher. Now, it's trading into a recent swing point that takes us back to September 18th. And on that day, this did volume of 11.2 million shares. This is moving higher with 871,000 shares in less than two hours of trading. So, you know, it's going to go likely tag that high. Will it take it out? It certainly doesn't have the volume metrics. But I think over time, the answer would be yes. Now, why did Stevie say, I think over time, the answer would be yes? Well, mostly because last week on a weekly basis, VFC negated its TD9 count top. This tells us about a strong upward momentum move. If we could take a quick peek in on the monthly time frame chart, what we'll see there is we're going to likely close above profile resistance on a monthly basis today at 4. And as long as price closed above 1875, Dano, you've got a beautiful setup here on the monthly for a further rally. You most certainly do on the weekly time frame. You're just coming in a little bit light in the loafers with regard to its swing point, which is not even a uh, topping signal or anything from the trading day back on September 18th. So it does look very good if we take a look at VFC's consecutive days higher and lower out here. Um, we're going to be in bar number three to the upside. So this would suggest to us also that you should get some type of retracement between that either starts tomorrow. I'd say between tomorrow and Wednesday out there. Just a normal retracement. Nothing goes straight up. Nothing goes straight down. Usually, um, you can rely upon that. And we can just simply take a look at stand steps and understand the Texas two-step out there, even though I'm not from Texas, and I don't really dance the Texas two-step, but Stevie's church do. Let's go take a look at... Um yeah, there's nothing else I can see here, Dan, that uh, that I can help you with. Let's go on to your second request. That second request was AQST. So if we take a look at AQST, what do we know about it? Well, on a daily time frame, you've got a consolidation with inside the daily profile after forming a road momentum indicator top. That top came in on the trading day of September 20th. That was a bearish engulfing key, uh, just a bearish engulfing candle out there. It did its work to the downside on Friday when price got back to 467 and held. Now you just got a good old fashioned consolidation with price trading into its sell zone, Dan. The sell zone be, uh, exists between 506 and 521. Uh, the swing point that this is also trading into September 20th, volume of 2.9 million shares so far today. 989. So you are moving in with similar type volume uh, out there. Nothing that's going to blow it away. 521 is your first resistance level. By the way, the high today, 520. And if you can close above that, you really need to close above the high from September 20th, and that's 529. If you can close above 529, it should be off to the races. However, if we look at the weekly time frame chart, so you have a daily roads momentum indicator top, you now have a weekly a TD9 count pattern. That actually completed two weeks ago. Price has not made its way back to support. I say has not. However, and Dan, I haven't tested this out enough. I don't, I don't see it often enough to know with certainty. But oftentimes, resistance or old resistance can become support, new support. Well, we know that resistance was at TD9 count breakdown level. And that was at 454. And last week, what was the low of the uh, pattern? 454. So it's very possible that what the weekly chart is telling us is that its work to the downside is over and that it wants to move higher. That is most certainly the message of the monthly time frame chart. The monthly time frame chart is trading above the top of its profile. It was a bearish structured profile. So closing above 474 would be a strong bullish move. Now, I can see a sell the D point pattern that formed out here with this bear shooting star, this monthly candle back from March of 2024. Volume there was 82 million shares. This month, you're up with 25 million shares. Doesn't matter. I would say because you're going to close above its bear structured profile. So I would say that price is likely to go. Well, first, you got to contend with that weekly. Uh, you got the weekly and the uh, daily tops out there. So a close above, and, and support is already held. So I think it's really price wants to target those highs, that 529 level. If you can close above 529, then you're headed back to this high out here from March of 
or March of 2024, or you should, and that would be getting you back to the 623-ish area. So, Dan, I hope that helped you out with AQST as well as VFC. Thanks so much for helping me out and assisting with regard to those requests out there. A quick check of the email system just to make sure that there's nothing out here. Nope, there's nothing else that's come in. So we've gotten through all of those requests. What should we take a look at out here? If we take a look at the daily equity future contracts, you can see on the ES mini prices testing, it's oscillator and change line level of support. On the uh, Dow equity future contract, in order to do that, it needs to get down to uh, four. 42519. You're still above that oscillator and change line on the NQ, which is green. So that's bullish. It does have that does have that new profile resistance up at the uh, 2357 level. The Russell 2000 also testing oscillator and change line support. And for the uh, Dow, it needs to hire to get you the number for the Dow. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So uh, we're taking a look at the SOXX. This is for Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den. So, Duncan, I, don't, I do not have any kind of a daily uh, a top out here. But price has gotten back to where it has struggled, which was a, a TD9 count top. That had so, uh, but that was negated, I believe. Let me just make sure. The high was two thirty six fifty one. This close was two thirty six fifty 
236.43. Okay, so I take that back. The TD Nank out top is still in place out here. But price this morning is tested at key level support. This new profile, actually, I take that back. It's gotten into a brand new profile. So your resistance level as we speak right now is at 231.20. Price may be, again, no top, but you're back inside profile. It's below the top. Maybe price is going to go target the 225.02, 225.82 level on a weekly time frame. A uh, weekly time frame has found resistance at the center of its profile. It's really kind of done that over the past couple of months. So 237.49 is a key level for you to watch the SOXX. If you can close above that, then you're likely going to head to the 259 level. The monthly chart, which shows a Roachman to indicator top, its work to the downside basically is done. I think the same thing for the weekly chart, which had a TD9 count and Roachman to indicator top. The monthly chart, price got back to the buy zone, which was between 184.09 and 194.02. What would be beautiful for you, uh, Dunk, if you're long SOXX, is the CA close above um, 233.71. Don't know that it'll do that today, but if it does start trading above that, that's the top of that monthly profile. To close out the show, McGuppy wants us to take a look at Fang. And his question is, he's basically saying, is this near a bottom? Well, here's what we do know. Prices traded back into a TD9 count bottom that went ahead and formed on November the 11th and November the 12th out there. That swing point has volume of 2.5 million shares. You're trading in that swing point still today. You're with 754, so it's lighter volume. But it has not tested the low of that swing point nor the high of that swing point. So it's not clear if you've got a bottom because of a test and rejection of a swing point because you don't have the rejection just yet. You are near... It's buy zone, 169.98 to 172.12. So most certainly you can take a, uh, uh, a take a long position there or add to your position, but you got to close it out if price were to close below that daily TD9 count bottom of 167.84. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. Thanks for joining me today. Have a marvelous Monday. Take care and be safe out there. <laughs>